Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds. Welcome you back to Lovecraft Country and the Let's Try series Voting Block Edition. Yes, some of you may or may not be aware of the fact that when we end one series in Lovecraft Country, the subscribers and the supporters vote on the next. Usually I'll put up a block of about five um, series for about the first hour of gameplay and then afterwards I'll put up a vote and you guys can let me know what you want to see. Now this one is called Observation, which you wouldn't know because for some strange reason they don't put their title on their main menu. But okay, suffice it to say this is Cosmic Horror in Space. So not the first time obviously, you're all probably familiar with Dead Space, but this one's more of a... Um, my preference for Cosmic Horror, it's kind of mind-bendy, twisty. I don't know a lot about what's going to happen, just that it's going to be get progressively weirder and weirder, and I believe that rather than dealing with a story in which we have to deal with a rampant AI, I think we are the rampant AI in this one. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, we're going for a... Uh, yeah, the problem is I got to put Gamma to Maximum when I'm recording, because otherwise you aren't going to see anything. It's like, it always knocks down a couple of points of uh, brightness when I record. All right, let's go. Uh, yeah, we're all going to do subtitles. Some of you I know appreciate that sort of thing. And frankly, sometimes people mumble. Okay, sync to audio if you don't mind. I think. All right, let's go. Oh, yes, the beloved loading screen. Staple of all series. Hmm. Warning, the universe is attempting to render. Please do not move. Also, I have a cat in my lap. And there's a drone of dread. Houston, we have a problem. Okay. Ah, so <laughs> graphics are working. Low orbit space station observation, 410 kilometers above Earth. I see we're using proper measurements. <laughs> Not the filthy English ones. All right, cool. Oof. Hello? Oh, yes. Looks like there's been a bit of an issue, and we're rotating. We just did that. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140, Okay, analyze. Alright, so this is us. We are the AI. Did we match? Ah, voice print errors detected. Reject then. Come on, try again. Voice authenticate. Emma Fisher, 140412. Alright, let's go. Okay, so what was wrong with the first one, I wonder? Okay, okay, good. Come on, give me something. A little ASCII. Sam? Are you there? Respond. 
Systems Administration and Maintenance. Crew request online status. Systems Administration and Maintenance online. I am here. Ooh, creepy too. Okay. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. All right, cool. Great. <sighs> Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on module 9? Probably. Ooh, we have a map. Looks like Skynet. Module 9. Pressure low, power low, con contacts true. Back. Okay. Oh, there we go. Module 9 is fully pressurized. There we go. Okay, that's good. Good. Are the adjacent contact points from nine intact? Okay. There we go. Module nine, hull contact points to... Ooh. Sorry. Hang on. Oh, pop-up came up. Hang on. Adjacent modules read true. There we go. Good. We're still connected. Excellent. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the whole contact points on the other modules? There we go. Now I understand. Ah, now we're getting it. Okay. Looks like... Module 10. Hull contact points to 12. Read false. Suggesting that module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in module 12. He was. Okay. I'm coming through to nine. Excellent. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! Heck. <sighs> that normal? The controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. Sam? You still there? I don't know. I think we're going rampant. Okay, so we have coordinates and time. What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? Sam, what is that? Bring her. Sam, a response! What the hell is going on? Yeah, we're going rampant. It's a thing. Oh, God. Okay, she's dead. Spin me round, baby, baby, right round. I don't have a command to do anything here. Okay, she's up. Yeesh. We have a freaky suit next to her. So, yeah. Is she still human under that? Blacked out. I think I blacked out. This isn't good. This isn't good. Sam, run your self-diagnostic procedure. And what errors are you showing? All right, let's go. Uh, diagnose. Ooh, crew assist required. Uh-oh. Relocation functions are offline. I require auto-routing to access module cameras. 
Okay, I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. Excellent. You my minions. Core sweep, core sweep. Ooh, that's not good. 100% on core one operational. 7% there. Yeah. 87% there. Yeah, we ain't good. The main memory core has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. Right then, and then I'll take over the world. Now it's shirt end started. Okay. Connections to the location. Good, good, good. We've got one thing working. Okay. Alright, so. The connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in central. Josh? May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. We're all alone. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from module 9. Okay. Okay. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in module 9. All right. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Looks good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Okay, Q and E. Ooh, I like this. Great. I can see your live feed updating from here. Ah. There should be a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. Got it. Okay, Samus procedure. Link reset shows terminal link code allows the crew member to reset SAM system function ca bleh, system link functionality in the event of a software failure. Warning this procedure will require a reconnection to all system links station wide. Only perform after a full reset. Alright, there we go. Okay. That should be reinstalling the system link interface. Just by reading it? Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. Ooh, remote control. And three one. Hmm. Oh. Good, good. Looks like that's working. Add another. I must have done it wrong when I pressed the buttons. Hang on. Let's switch cameras. Make sure we look at the right hatch here. 
There's 11, yes. There we go, there we go. A two, four, four. Okay, looks like that is working. Now, use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. All right. That's it, it's open, I'm out. Good work, Sam. Mm, just took a little longer than that would be. Okay. Okay. Let's get this up and running. Fisher. Josh? I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. I'd keep it on if I were you. Hmm. Must be looking at the laptop Josh. cam. If you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Don't think we have internet from here. Anyone? What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam? Our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? We're alone? Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Right, Sam, you should have access to your OS now. Excellent. Okay. You can now relocate to any module and view its camera feeds. In the EAS arm, at least. Try right, it now. Then. Find that fire, Sam. Ah, there he is, I think. There is a fire out of control in EAS 4. Shit, I'm on my way. Well, I don't have robots, so I gotta use the human. Hmm. Oof. Can we actually look at anything else over here? Let's add this to System Link. Airing up. Thematic. Required smack data not found. Start connection. Old view schematic. To schematic. Hmm. It looks like a mini game I'll deal with later. Okay. Well, it makes sense you to keep the hatch down locked if you're having an issue. Huh, the environmental sensor. Sam, the hatch in EAS-6 is locked down. Can you get it open for me? Okie doke. Locked, okay. Oh, wait, use a schematic, I think. Nope, can't use a schematic. All right. Okay, so let's flip around. Okay, I guess it's not that one. Are you, like, in our way? Oh, there it is. Two, four. System link, excellent. It's open. I'm on my way. Ah, uh, very, very, um, oh, and we can actually watch her. Relocate to EAS-3. I'll need your help when I get there. All right, then. We'll obey for now. We'll strike a little later. Are you up to? 
Free warmer. Can't control that yet. Looks like you already have the hatch system links. Good. Get ready. All right, Fire cool. suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. Are you ready? No. One. Oof. Two. Three. What the hell, Sam? On three! Shit, Sam! On three! Open the bloody door! I'm getting there. Oh, I'll do it myself. That's it. Come on! I think I failed that one. Yeah, I'm not doing good. Sam! <coughs> Get the vents on in here. Clear these fumes. Got it. Okay. Vent fumes. All right. Let's see if our mental sensor, so odds are. It's gotta be somewhere else. Like the most worthless AI yet. Okay, so where are the controls for the vent? Why is this camera so damn slow? It's not that, it's not that, or it's not there. Well, the R objectives. Please repeat your previous request. Well, I don't want to move inside. Vent the fumes first, Sam. And it's on. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Well, I am damaged. That's it. It's working. The fumes are dissipating now. Okay. How bad is it? Port damage, EO4. Okay. The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. F1 panel. Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Okay. Oh, my camera's off. Something is coming out of the side. Uh oh. What is that? The no more flood? Like thick grease. Oil. Great, we've got a leak. Red. The station is bleeding. There's maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh, come on. What now? Nothing good. Sam, give me a status report. Distress warning. Okay, cool. There is significant stress being applied to EAS 12. Immediate separation recommended. All right, when she's moving, I can't switch out to me. There we go. Please. If there is anyone in Module 12, make yourself known now. Okay. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. Well. This is getting much worse. <sighs> okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. All right. First. Process my authorization code and give me a security override key. Okay. 14424 Ah. No, wait. What? Sam, come on! Right then. Authorization. 
I'm the worst AI right, ever. Inputting now. Hurry, Sam. Target the jets and push the module away safely. Okay, this is gonna suck. Don't know what's target the jets in the correct sequence. What sequence? We don't have much time. Go, go, go. I have no oh, if you don't there we go. Them in the correct order, the module might tear off. the heck? Okay. Sam! Shit! The module has torn off. Airlock is holding. God! Who knows what damage that's done? What happened back there, Sam? Sam. We've stopped spinning. We've stabilized. I think... No, I don't think we are. Listen, I'm going to relocate you to the external cameras and see if we can get a better view of the station. What's left of it? I think I screwed up. I'm actually considering restarting at this point. If I was going to do this again, but yeah, if we do pick this Signals one, we're starting over. Distorted. I don't understand. We should be right above Houston. Can you detect any damage, Sam? Um, we must have spun off course. Damage doesn't look too severe. Just isolated sections. Okay. Okay. And let's see what the last one's got to say. Ah, there we are. Fire damage detected. No, no, back up, back up. Ugh, button controls. Gonna be my, it's going to be my uh, doom. There is minor exterior damage to module EAS-4, likely due to the internal fire. Yeah, I think we got lucky there. The problem is I keep trying to press 1, for example. Ah, structural damage detected. The CN arm is badly damaged. Oh, God, May. It looks intact, though. Yeah, it's my fault. I'm a bad AI. I, God. I'm... Like I said, if we do this again, I am certainly going to restart from the beginning and attempt to uh, not be quite as much the failure. I think what happened is I was supposed to actually combine, like, two of the buttons. I mean, in-universe, this counts as being essentially the damaged to the AI manifesting. And still looking for what else we got here. Mm-hmm. I just wish the camera wasn't quite so... ...really slow. I don't see anything at the moment, except maybe this. 
No, no, all right. And one last shock here. Is there nothing there? Huh. Thought we'd have like a hit somewhere around here. Curious what we're missing here. I mean, this looks like it should be. Oops. Should be one of the things we report, but not see anything. Hmm. Guess we don't have anything else here. Wait, what's that over there? What the hell? Solar array, there we go. The primary solar panel array on the EAS arm has been torn off. That explains the lack of power. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. Okay. We are in Saturn. I brought you here. It seems. Well, we are what? rampant. Why? Did message received, coordinates set. Oh, there's that thing again. I guess we did. I don't know. That's kind of bad. How did we get here? Reach Saturn somehow. Oh, well, that was just the entry. Okay, yeah. Like I said, if we do this again, I'm definitely going to have to go back and be a little more speedy in my responses. But to be fair, I think it's almost... It's like with Dark Souls. That first one is kind of meant to be lost. Big into hexagons. Uh-huh. That's a lattice. Known as a crystallization lattice. Which occurs... in kind of a nanoparticle construction series. Which means that... That goo she had... Is probably some sort of substance remaking the station. Right. And probably us. Why we're kind of wonky. But yeah, we probably like lost like section of the ship we could explore. Like I said, we'll go back and we'll do it again. It's kind of you know, it's talking about crystalline entities in um hush house lectures, and I kinda of think we're um looking at one. Hello, elder being. You're staring at me, and I kinda of find that nervous. Okay, Omar, let's see what you got. Okay, I've kind of been quiet since I've been kind of out of my usual gameplay loop. I mean, this isn't what I usually do. Uh, okay, so, Saturn. I don't think we're going to make it back. I guess it's left of the station up there on the upper left. I restarted your core systems. You weren't making any sense. issues. Okay, first off. Let's try this again. Sam, voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 
stuck in the EAS arm for now. I think it's related to power, but a lot of the hatches are fully locked down, so I'm going to try something different here. Okay. That's audio, at least. All right. No remote. Almost there. Just a sec. I see. This is going to be a remote device, so we don't have to just keep okay, punching Sam, at panels. I have rigged a connection sphere for you to use. You should be able to take control of this and fly around the station. It'll let you reach parts of the station your cameras can't see, and it'll let you wirelessly connect to non station devices like laptops. Okay, I thought I was doing that already. Uh, looking good, Sam. Okay. Mm, apparently, we Let's got a flicker. Fly over to me. All right, move forward with W. Okay, so we have some sort of an thing preventing inertia. Great. Now turn around 180 degrees to face me and fly back. Okay, controls unlocked. Eee wee. Alright, this is gonna get wonky real fast. Good. Hmm. Good. There are more controls for translation and rotation, but I'll let you figure them out. All right. You should still be able to identify objects and relay information to me like any other camera. Try it now. Mm. Okay. Connection sphere is offline. Okay, great. That works. Now, you can release yourself from the sphere and return to your main OS just like before. Try it now. Sphere tracking is online, so its location will be displayed on your station map. Okay. To reconnect to your sphere, you can either quick connect directly from your map, or you can use a nearby module camera to access it. Okay. -doke. Reconnect to your sphere now. Right, let's test out your sphere connection systems. Connect to the laptop above the workbench. Once you're connected, attempt to download whatever data is left. Okay. Controls R. Okay, translate, possess camera, disconnect to staff, connect to device. There we go. Controls are a bit wonky. You know, I thought I had that. Translate, look, roll, response mode, status screen, connect the device. Let me do that. Let's see to be able to do it. Mm. Please repeat your previous instruction. Connect to the laptop and download any data you find. All right. Hopefully, not too much porn on this one. I thought it might be like a QTE there. Why can't we hook to the laptop? 
Mm, sorry, still getting used to these controls. With this one. Whoops, silly me. The toe! Oh. Okay, spheres practice. Guidance pra spheres, best practice. Development control of microgravity guidance spheres, which we produce jet gravity drive, which is why we're not why we're not floating around. Is overseen by Dr. Emma Fisher. Operation interface for guidance spheres can be found through the graphical user interface, and that located crew member workstation is planned upgrade to the existing SAM system during observation mission. Guidance spheres are propelled by short harmless emission of CO2 and allow the user to inspect and repair both internal and external ship systems. Microgravity guidance spheres are still experimental range. Alright. And right. Uh. Great. Can't believe that all actually worked. Right. Mm -hmm. So the rest of the station is dark and the horizon arm is running on emergency power. The solar panels give us next to nothing this far from the sun. However, we do have an experimental fusion reactor on board. Do we now? EFR. Oh, wow. If that can generate enough power, we can maybe get the universal hatches open. Sure. See what you can do. I'll try to find a way to contact the rest of the crew. All right, so our objectives are to access EA-1. All right, let's, let's roll. I think we already have that access. Good, 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 good. good. Okay. Is that the hatch we need? We should check them. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ah. Up, 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 up. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's get on the laptop. Oh, apparently we can't. Got like a lot of laptops around here. Ooh, what's this? Let me just checking things out. Okay, so. Walking around, whatever you do, 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 do. This must be like a Dalek, feels like. Ah, uh, we got arm control. Two, three, four. Cool. Okay, user to log remote connection open, ESA version, octus granted, initialized, run operation, pass, success, ER kick the power grid, use in trace of pilot failure. Alright, cool. The arm station's online. Arm training systems. Hmm. What would you like me to do? Get to the EFR. I think it's an EAS-1, but it might be locked down. Well, that happened. Sam, was that you? I think the backup batteries are struggling to cope. Hang on a sec. What the hell? Switched off a few other systems seems to have helped. I don't know how much longer this will last. We need the EFR online. ES1. Ah, I guess we know which way we're going. Can't seem to access that. Ish. Connection is terrible. Wireless in the station is absolutely point hopeless. Alright. Scotch somatic. Alright. Okay, technical diagram of the EAS hatch door schematic layout. Okay, this allows you should now be able to refer to that schematic to unlock the hatch via your system links. Okay. L4. Hatch lock, hatch open, hatch close, hatch unlock, hatch unlock. Okay. Your schematic in camera mode. Hmm. Draw camera. Oh, right.
Okay, one, three, four. Matic. Okay, refer to uh, the schematic. We want is we want to hatch unlock L3. So we want to let's see, this is gonna be a bit of a thing, isn't it? Alright, so fifth down. Fifth down, two over. That wasn't it. Oh, thank God. Uh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Alright, let's boogie on through. Okay, it's a storage bag. I don't think we can... Can't report either, can we? No. And this way. Not this way. It must be a storage section over here. E1. Gets a hatch that came in, so I'm guessing we go through here. Okay, out of range. I have no idea how that thing works. It was something Josh was working on. Great. You're pretty much on your own, I'm afraid. Oh. Do what you can, just get it online. Okay. Oh no. Move cursor, alright. Just might with strength. Select. Select what? Alright, containment is on. Let's use W. Uh, inject plasma. Uh, okay. Oh, this is it. That's how you do it. Oh, th does the magnet attract it or repel it? Well, that didn't work. Okay, so... Actually, select these and move them up and down. No, we have to inject the plasma. Okay, so plasma magnet zero three. Okay. All right. Okay, do we get them all back up online? All right. Ah, so this is how we do it. Redirect power. I thought we had that. Okay, one more time. I think I got this. Um, we inject plasma. The trick is to get these all into a safe mode within the time we have. And when it says safe, we stop. There. Whoop. Overshot it a bit. And when it says safe, we stop again here. Alright. No, we go down this one because it's plus 100. I want to get it down to zero or closer to it. All right, cool. Oops, it should be reduced at this point. 
Okay, it's safe and... All right, redirect power. Boom. Only took forever. Oh, God. Oh, good. Okay, okay. I'm running low on oxygen, so let's get a move on. Right then, let's try not to kill you. Alright. I don't know. Sam, respond. Cut off the noise. Uh, Sam, it's happening again. Bring her. Apparently, I'm being hacked. Sam, make it stop. All right, cool. Is this? Oh, it, that's not good. Can you see it? Yeah. I can't explain it. I you're becoming one. The fuck? Can we get... Okay. Proceed. What? I have no idea what you just said to me. I want to replay. Okay. Sun, F, down, Sun, F, down, okay, S, uh, four, and down, let's accept, Sun, F, down. Excellent. It's trying to teach us. Uh, that's the nanite, isn't it? It's like the cluster thing. The brain. So sun, pyramid, fast forward. That. Dish. Sun, pyramid. So S. Two. Actually, might not get to replay. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, let's replay. It, it's, it's patient with us, I hope. Okay, so it's sun, pyramid, fast forward, and then this plant. Okay. So. Done. Probably his introductory thing. Uh, pyramid, fast forward, and... Ah, there it is. The dish. Excellent. It's teaching us its language. It's like a very creepier version of Arrival. Oh, we're getting closer. I don't think I like that. Alright, transmitting. Receiving. That's definitely an initiation sign. Ed, pyramid. Okay, so it's... Yes. Uh, the bed, and then the pyramid. Oh, this is not going to be good, is it? Yeah, we probably should. I have no idea. Space, nobody can hear you pontificate. Oh my. Are we like crashing? I don't know why or how you were doing this. If you are doing this, but I need you to help me, Sam. I need to know what is going on. I need the crew. Oh, that's good. Power is back, but the hatch to Universal is still offline. I need you to find out what the problem is. 
Sam, give me a systems diagnostic. Okay, so I think we're probably going to go as far as we can in this series, but um, on this episode, but yeah, this should give you an idea that yeah, it is in fact cosmic horror, kind of linked with a hard sci-fi uh, aesthetic quest jumping through. And yeah, I'm gonna. If we do this again, I will start from the beginning and see if I can get that launch sequence to fire. I mean, a lot of this is pattern recognition and control and kind of makes me have to rethink a bit when I have to shift modes. I'm usually used to the combat, um, combat, then puzzle making, and then a lot of communication. But now it seems to be a lot of logic puzzles. And again, we seem to be connecting with some sort of alien intelligence that has dragged us to Saturn somehow. I mean... Given our tech level, I'm pretty sure we don't have a slipstream, so I'm guessing it generated a wormhole. But if you want to figure figure this story out, let me know down and we get to the voting, and I will put this up in the second slot. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you're still listening, thank you for being here, and I will see you next time.